everybody, my name is Laura and I'm the host of SBP Kids Online Church where we like to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. If you're here, that means you're already one of our friends and you can be a friend whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. And since we're all friends here, we should know each other's names. So why don't you go ahead and tell me your name right now? Welcome to our series called Everyday Armor. Over the next few weeks, we're going to hit the city streets and find out what it means to wear God's armor every single day. Let's get ready to spend some time in the city. To help us do that, I want to know, what is your favorite sport? Hmm, there are some good ones. In the city, you'll probably see lots of skateboarding. And did you know that's a sport? In skateboarding and lots of other sports, athletes need to wear protective gear. God gives us invisible armor that protects us too. One piece of armor is called the armor of godliness. It protects our hearts when we want to do the wrong thing and it helps us to do what's right. With God's power, we can put on the armor of godliness every day. So here is what you need to know today. Say this after me. Put on the armor of godliness. Nice, okay, let's say that all together. Are you ready? Put on the armor of godliness, yes. Okay, if someone says to you, hey, what did you learn at SBP Kids Online Church today? You get to say, put on the armor of godliness. Yes, perfect. Let's go learn more about the armor of godliness by heading into the big city. Everybody, check this out. Hola, hi everyone, bienvenidos. Welcome to our city. I'm the mayor and my job is to lead our city and help all the citizens who live here. I can't wait to show you around and introduce you to some of the everyday heroes who make this city amazing. But first, would you like to see some of my favorite places? Yes! Great! The map will help us to see all the amazing places around our city. Let's take a look now. Okay, do you see the star on the map? Yes! The star on the map always tells us where we are. And right now, we're in the park. In our city, we also have a school and a hospital. Oh, and of course, my favorite donut shop. There are so many exciting things to see and do around our city, but the best part is the people you will meet. Hey, would you like to explore the city with me and meet some of the people who live and work here? Yes! Well, great! Before we hop on the bus and go exploring, you need to know our two city rules. Rule number uno is to be kind. Let me see all of you hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be kind. That's it. You can be kind by staying quiet and listening while others are talking. If you can be kind by listening and staying quiet, let me hear you say, shh. Shh. Good job. Now, rule numero dos is to be safe. Let me see all of you hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be safe. You got it. You can be safe by keeping your hands to yourself as we explore the city. Let's all clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Ready? Clap, 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 clap. put, put your, your hands, hands in your lap. lap. Perfecto. Now we're ready to explore the city. Today, we are going to visit our city's police station. Let's see if you can figure out which one of these everyday heroes we will meet there. Our first hero is a chef who cooks lots of yummy food for our citizens to enjoy. Our second hero is a police officer who works hard to keep all of our citizens in our city safe. And our third hero is a soldier who serves and protects all the citizens in our community. Which one of these heroes do you think we will see at the police station? A police officer. That's right. 
The police station is the place in our city where police officers work to protect us and keep us safe. Oh, the city bus is here. Let's hop on and go meet one of the police officers. Everyone, roll your arms around like the wheels on the bus and sing with me. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town, all through the town, all through the town. Hello, everyone. My name is Opal, and I'm a police officer here in our city. My job is to protect all the citizens here. I also help make sure that everyone is following the city rules. There is a special armor that helps me do my job, like my vest and my radio, that connects me to other officers. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day, and it's more powerful than anything else. It's called the Armor of God. My vest is a super important part of my work armor, but I can't do anything well without the armor of godliness from God's armor. It protects my heart and helps me do the right things. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to put on the armor of godliness and all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say this after me. Put on all. Put on all. Of God's. Of God's. Armor. Armor. Ephesians 6.11. Ephesians 6.11. That's it! Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now! The armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me Put on the belt of truth My good news boots Getting dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor Godliness, my helmet's on, my salvation. Now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me, it makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. Put on the belt of truth. My good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right with the armor of godliness. My helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me singing that song. Now go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the Spirit. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Now let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. <gasps> click, click, click! Now let's put on our special eyes. Zoop. In the Bible, 
There's a true story about a time when God's people started disobeying Him. Because of this, God allowed their enemies to take everything they had. God's people were so afraid that they ran and hid in caves. Then they prayed and asked God to help them. Let me see all of you make praying hands. Way to go! This is Gideon. An angel of God told Gideon that God wanted him to help save God's people, the Israelites. The angel called Gideon a mighty warrior. Let me see all of you show your muscles like a strong and mighty warrior. Wow, you look like warriors. But Gideon didn't feel so mighty. He felt scared and not strong enough to do what God had told him to do. But God said to Gideon, you are strong. Go and save Israel. I will be with you. Then Gideon believed that God was with him and he was ready to do what God had told him to do. The angel of God told Gideon to tear down the tall pole and altar that Gideon's family had built to show love to fake gods. God wanted Gideon to build the right kind of altar that would show love to the real God. Now, let me see all of you hold up 10 fingers. You got it! Gideon got 10 of his friends and they went and did exactly what the angel of God had told him to do. Even though Gideon was scared of what his family and other friends would say, Gideon stayed strong and did the right thing. Sometimes it can feel scary to do what is right, but when we put on the armor of godliness, we know that God is protecting our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing. He will be with us and give us the power to do what is right. So let me hear you say this after me. Put on, put on the armor of godliness. The armor of godliness. You've got it. When you put on God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Gracias. Thanks, Officer Opal. I'm so glad that we got to visit the police station today and that you all got to meet Officer Opal. She taught us that we have the power to do what God says is right when we put on the armor of godliness. Oh look, the city bus is here to take us back to the park. This time, let's play a game on the bus as we head back. Let's play I Spy with the Clouds. Listen carefully as I tell you what to look for. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a cat. When you see it, stomp your feet. Great job! Let's find another one. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a duck. When you see it, clap your hands. You found it! Let's find one more. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a turtle. When you see it, wave your hands up high in the air. You did it! That was so much fun! Wow, we made it back to the park in no time at all playing that fun game. Boys and girls, do you hear that? Yes! That sound means that someone needs our help. Would you all like to help? Yes! Great, let's check in and see who it is. It looks like Charlie needs our help today. Charlie has been making mud pies outside in his yard. Boys and girls, does Charlie look mad or happy? Mad. You're right. Charlie is mad because his parents asked him to come inside and wash his hands for dinner. He doesn't want to do the right thing and obey his parents. But wait, Officer Opal told us a story from the Bible about a man who did the right thing even when it was hard. Boys and girls, was his name Stephen or Gideon? Gideon. You got it. Even though Gideon was scared of what his family and other friends would say, God helped him to do the right thing. Do you think Charlie should do the right thing and obey his parents? Yes. 
Of course, God wants us to do what is right and obey our parents. And Charlie needs to remember that. It looks like Charlie has some of God's armor on, but he is missing an important piece. Which piece of God's armor is Charlie missing? The good news boots or the armor of godliness? The armor of godliness. That's it. Charlie needs his armor of godliness to protect his heart from wanting to do the wrong thing and help him do what God says is right. I think we need to remind Charlie to put on the armor of godliness. Let's all tell him together. Say this after me. Put on. Put on. The armor of godliness. The armor of godliness. Look at that. Charlie put on his armor of godliness and now he's an everyday hero just like Officer Opal. God's armor will help Charlie to do what is right and obey his parents. Gracias, thank you so much for all of your help with Charlie today. God's armor helps us all to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard to do. And there's a song we can sing to help us remember not to give up. Stand up and sing with me. Take a seat now. As you leave our city today, remember to put on the armor of godliness. Let me hear you say this after me one more time. Put on. Put on. The armor of godliness. The armor of godliness. You got it. It's time for me to go, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Adios. Bye-bye. Wow, that was so cool. I definitely learned that I need to put on the armor of godliness so that my heart will be protected. I bet you learned that too. We're memorizing a verse from the Bible that reminds us of the powerful armor that God gives us. Let's say it now. Repeat after me. Ephesians 6, 11. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Great job. Hey, do you think you can say that verse with me? Let's try it. Here we go. Ephesians 6, 11. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Nice work, excellent, okay. Here's what I hope you remember from this series. We do not need to be scared or afraid. Even when we're in the middle of a battle, God is always with us. And when we put on his full armor, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. For our part, God invites us to stand firm and pray. So let's pray together now. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, thank you for giving us your full armor. Help us to remember to put on each and every piece 
so that we can stand firm against the devil's evil lies and tricks. We know you are greater than anything we face, and we love you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've had so much fun exploring the city with all of you today. Before you run off for the rest of your adventures today, tune in for these announcements. Online church is not the only way to get all of the SBP Kids fun. You can also join us for SBP Kids Live on Sunday mornings at St. Benedict Parish. If you're a kid in elementary school, then check us out at 9 a.m. or 11.30 a.m. during Mass. Just come on downstairs at the beginning and, uh, and find us in the big room downstairs at St. Benedict Parish. You can also check us out if you're an infant or a preschooler. And you can hang out with us at the 9 a.m. Mass on Sunday mornings. You just go down the hall when you get downstairs and you'll find a desk where kids get checked in. We have so much fun. So parents, you can drop your kids off at those places at the beginning of Mass, and I hope to see you there. If you're an older elementary kid, then I want to invite you to check out The Encounter. The Encounter is a youth group for kids in grades 4, 5, and 6, and it takes place on Wednesday nights at St. Benedict Parish. It also takes place on Wednesday nights on Zoom, so you can join us whether you're local or not. You just have to be in grades 4, 5, or 6. Find out more by going to stbenedict.ca slash youth and you can sign up for the encounter there so you can get an email that tells you how to join. If your parents want to join our awesomely fun newsletter, for more information about SBP Kids and to find ideas to how to support your kids as they grow in faith during this series, sign up for the SBP Kids Scoop. I've already sent out the email for the Everyday Armor, but if you sign up, you'll get it in your inbox right away. Um, I am going to try to send out at least one newsletter a series so uh, to help equip you throughout this journey. So make sure you sign up at stbenedict.ca slash sbpkids and look for the SBP Kids Scoop newsletter sign up at the bottom of the page. Did you know that we put out two SBP Kids videos every weekend? That's right, we put out an elementary video and a preschool video. Um, and you can find both of those videos plus all our previous SBP Kids online church videos at YouTube, youtube.com slash stbp. You'll wanna go over there and subscribe so you never miss the fun. Okay friends, even though it's time for me to go, I want you to remember that you've always got God's power with you so you can face anything that comes your way. I will see you next week. Bye.